Hey y'all, we're so grateful that you've chosen to join us this evening for our virtual banquet. I'm Whitney Clark and I am on Young Life staff here in Fauquier County and I am a Young Life leader at Fauquier High School. You know, I'm honestly really bummed that we aren't able to be together in person tonight. I was really looking forward to sharing, sorry, this is my dog, to sharing in person um, all that the Lord has done and is doing um, in the lives of kids in Fauquier County through Young Life. Um, but I am so grateful for the technology that allows us to still be able to share that just in a different way, in a way that during this time is safe. So shout out to Zoom for that. Um, we have loved the technology available to us during this time because it has allowed us to be able to continue to build and grow relationships with kids and to connect with them in a time where isolation so easily happens. Um, over the past two months, leaders have met weekly with kids um, over Zoom or Google Hangouts other platforms for campaigners. We have had all area trivia nights um, and over a hundred, um, no, over 200 kids really have gotten involved over the weeks. And even some teachers joined us, um, which has been just so much fun. While doing ministry virtually has been challenging and fun, we still long for the day when we can be with kids in a crowded club room, when we can take kids to camp over the summer we especially long for the day when we can just sit across the table with a kid over a cup of coffee or over a meal and get to talk about life and the things that really matter. Tonight, we hope to give you a clear picture at the heart of young life. We hope that as you see pictures and watch videos and hear stories that you will see the kind of impact that young life is having on the lives of kids that last for a lifetime, for eternity. So take a look at um, this video with me um, and I hope that you'll see a clear picture of young life. When you are lonely and the world is dark When tears are flowing from your broken heart Hold on to hope because you've come so far Just hold on, just hold on, just hold on Sing hallelujah for the good times Hallelujah For the bad And I am thankful For the ups and downs Because they make me Who I am If the good Lord Takes me home tomorrow Then I can rest and know That it's all in His hand Sing hallelujah, 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 amen. Sing hallelujah, 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 amen. Hi, I'm uh, Brian Logan, and my wife and I, Jackie, and our wonderful daughter, uh, Callie, we lead at uh, Kettle Run High School. And really, Young Life has been amazing. And it's been a joy to be working with uh, students at Kettle Run. Uh, through this, we've gotten to meet amazing people. There's this one student, Seth, that has just been awesome. Um, he comes over now. He hangs out with my daughter. I've gotten to see his life you know, transform and just our relationship's been just phenomenal. It's something that's growing me and to see students like him transform in Christ is just simply amazing. And I know that his story is just one of so many. So I really hope you enjoy this. This is some of the amazing students that we have here in Fauquier County and their story. Young Life is just an incredible ministry that reaches high schoolers who are broken and lost and who go through so many things. And I'm thankful for how it's impacted my life forever. Young Life has had a pretty tremendous impact on me as a person. Uh, I don't think I would have met the Lord without Young Life. Uh, and I truly feel as if it laid the groundwork for me to push forward in my faith. Young Life has impacted me by giving me lifelong friendships and strengthening my relationship with God. The bond with my Young Life leader, uh, is a big impact on my life, a major big impact on me. Um, you know, like, 
He's helped me throughout so many things. Young Life has taught me that I can um, live my life by grace and not by perfection, and my true identity is found in Jesus. Young Life has impacted me by changing the way I love others and view my relationship with Jesus. Young Life has impacted my life in many ways by the way I interact with people and just it definitely helped my relationship with Jesus. Young Life has taught me the importance of two relationships. It's a great place just to get away and connect with God. Showing me how I can love people better and share the gospel with them and it's inspired me to become a leader for the next four years during college. Young Life has taught me um, how important it is to have a relationship with God and that God is the only one who can fulfill me. To me, Young Life means relationships. I went with my friends and I built a better relationship with them and I made new friends from people at my school. One of the best experiences of my entire life. Young Life has really helped me strengthen my relationship with God and it's a safe space where I get to go see all of my best friends without fear of being judged. Helping me understand who Jesus was and like what he did for us and has also helped me open up to people and start to trust people more. Young Life, I came to learn, um, isn't just for Christians. It's for anyone. Anyone is welcome there. I love doing club because just dancing around with everybody was literally fun. Like literally the person next to you would just grab your arm and you'd just be jumping up and down and it was so hype. Young Life has introduced me to a group of people that I cannot imagine my life without. I can live every day knowing that I have a greater purpose because of the way that my Young Life leaders walked through life with me and my friends and showed us the love and joy of Jesus. Being involved with Young Life has given me the courage to share my love for Jesus with those around me. A group of people I can go to, talk to, meet other people, bring people to meet God. I used to think that you needed to fit a certain mold to be used by God, but God can use you wherever you are in your journey with Him. It made me realize that I wanted a relationship with God. Young Life helped me realize that even with my imperfections, Jesus is perfect and he loves me no matter what. Continue to talk with them about how we're growing in Christ and how to love others. A reminder that no matter what high school throws at me, Jesus will always be there with me every step of the way. Young Life has been my chance to start over to let go of all the things that I've been through and that had happened to me and reconnect with God in a way that I can honestly say saved my life and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I wouldn't have traded that crazy experience for the world. And I wouldn't be the same person today without them. Welcome back to the green room. Like Brian said, that's just a small glimpse into some of the stories of lives that have been impacted by Young Life in Fauquier County. My favorite part is that those stories don't stop when they leave high school or middle school. Leaders that are compelled by the love of Jesus build friendships with kids that last as they leave high school and go to college and beyond. In fact, we have 25 students who have graduated just in the last three years that are now leading spiritually on, in some aspect on their campus, whether it's uh, leading Young Life at a local high school or middle school, or they're leading a Bible study on their football team or basketball or lacrosse team. We have one kid who's in charge of all of FCA at his college. And it's so cool that a Young Life leader uh, in this ministry in Fauquier has played a small role in, in their growth and their development. And we're going to be able to hear a story from one of my favorite couples, Mike and Terry Strait, uh, who have been impacted by Young Life for a long time. And I mean a long time. Uh, they're awesome, and they're going to share about uh, how they've been impacted and, and why they continue to choose to invest. And then you're going to hear from our committee chair, Corey, and he's going to invite you to invest as well. So enjoy this video. <laughs> My introduction to Young Life was uh, a Friday night a football game walking off the field and a fellow runs up to me and says, uh, hey, Mike Strait, some of your friends tell me I ought to invite you to Young Life. My sister and her best friend invited their siblings and we went and that was the first time that I heard that Jesus had covered all my wrongdoings, past, present, and future. After a year and a half of going to Young Life Club in high school, I uh, 
found myself at uh, Star Ranch, Young Life's property in Colorado Springs in the summer of 1969. And uh, there I really was challenged with the person of Christ and I felt so accepted that I, I count that as being a pivotal, the pivotal point in my life. But then when we got to club, our first meal, I think, just finished and out rush a couple of Young Life leaders and they are just as cowboys and they jump up on the table and they start to have a gunfight and I am just cannot believe it. We're just shocked and laughing hysterically. Looking for fellowship and folks with Young Life and when there's no internet, there was really no <laughs> phone system. I posted a sign and mimeographed a picture that said, Young Life, what's that? And then I put my phone number on it, my dorm number on it, and uh, posted it up all around the dormitories, and uh, two or three people called me on that. One became a very good friend who I just spoke to last week. So we had some Young Life guys on campus that created a core. Young Life had a big impact on my future life. Um, I was hosting the uh, summer leadership event and the first person that walks in the door that night was my husband, but I didn't realize it then. <laughs> and then during the evening, we were assigned together to work at the high school for the summer, and uh, we did. And uh, I like to tell the story that she fell in love with me head over heels immediately, but that's not quite how it was. <laughs> Each one of our six kids found their way to Young Life. And I think about it, I think that it's that relationship they have with the leaders that is so unique and so helpful in their growth as a young person. Young Life has stayed on their original mission and I look for that and I continue to see that. We hear so many negative things of what's going on with the young people and the choices they're making, trying to fit in in some way, trying to find purpose in some way and uh, the pressure on them to, to fit in and when they meet up with one of these Young Life leaders and then hear how they are so loved as they are, it's just such a contrast. And in turn, they can reach out to their friends and live fulfilled lives with purpose. Hello everybody, my name is Corey Austin and I am on the Fauquier Young Life Committee. Uh, thank you for being with us tonight. Uh, more on committee in a second, but just a little bit about myself. I am from Fauquier County, uh, graduated from Liberty High School in 2008, go Eagles, and uh, have been involved with Young Life ever since. I was a volunteer leader in college, uh, went on camp staff, met my wife uh, through being on camp staff. Um, she has been on staff here locally for several years. Uh, supporting Lou and then also um, other aspects of Young Life as well. Um, so we are committed to Young Life. We will be involved uh, for the rest of our lives. And the reason for that is because it is a great ministry with great people who are dedicated to uh, reaching kids in uh, schools, building relationships with them and introducing them to the gospel. Uh, so we are honored to be a part of uh, that team here in Fauquier County. We have a really great team here led by Lou and Whitney uh, and some amazing volunteer leaders. And we would love for you to join that team. Uh, we uh, have several ways you can get involved with Young Life. Um, there will be an email going out uh, where you can sign up for more information or ask questions. Um, so please register. If you haven't already, please register for this event tonight. I think there's a link in the chat. Um, where you can uh, register 
Uh, we have no intentions of overloading you with email, but we would just love to, first of all, thank you for being here uh, and participating. And then um, also happy, want to give you more information uh, about uh, how you can get involved in Young Life, uh, if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, we are always looking for new leaders. There are 6,500 kids in Fauquier County. We'd love to know the name of every kid in, in Fauquier uh, in middle school and high school. So uh, we absolutely need more leaders to be able to do that. Uh, we have our committee. Uh, committee is a group of adults who are committed to uh, seeing the success of Young Life in Fauquier County uh, through financial support, through prayer, uh, through helping put together events like tonight and then uh, supporting our staff and leaders. Uh, and then we um, need the financial support of the community to be able to, to do ministry in, in Fauquier County. So I hope that you have uh, seen or heard something tonight that has encouraged you and piqued your interest. Uh, if that is the case, uh, please reach out to us. We would love to uh, talk with you more about Young Life in Fauquier, how you could be involved. Um, we would always take prayer, uh, and then uh, we, we do need the financial support of the community. So um, please fill out the uh, form in the email that you'll receive after the night is over. Uh, you can uh, share this video with friends and family uh, if you think you know someone who might be interested, uh, and they can watch this uh, virtual, uh, they can watch this basically movie uh, in its entirety. Uh, after this event is completed. Um, so there, there are lots of ways to get involved. Uh, if, if you are interested, uh, would you consider partnering with us financially? Um, we have a great uh, group of donors in place already. Uh, and if you're here and already donating, uh, thank you so much. We really appreciate your partnership. Uh, we have heard a lot tonight about the generational impact that Young Life has had here in Fauquier uh, from the Straight family how it has impacted them to kids who have graduated and are now at uh, schools, uh, continuing to uh, be involved in Young Life and now being leaders. Uh, Lou and I were both club kids uh, here at Liberty High School, uh, and now we are uh, on staff and on committee, uh, continuing to help Young Life move here in Fauquier. So uh, there is uh, impact in, in your partnership uh, and we, we really appreciate it. Um, and we are looking to grow our donor base. Um, uh, monthly giving is the most beneficial way uh, to us for people to contribute, uh, but there are also one-time gifts as well. Um, so uh, tonight we're hoping to raise $30,000, as you can see on the graphic on your screen, but I wanna come back to that in a minute. First, I have a request specifically for our current donors would you consider increasing your monthly giving to help us reach our goal? And on top of that, would you consider a one-time gift for tonight, again, to help us reach that goal of raising $30,000? And for our new donors, as you can see on the screen, we've laid out examples of intervals that people could give at in order for us to reach our goals. Uh, those are just examples. If there are different numbers that would work better for you uh, and you want to partner with us, please do that. We don't, we're not worried about how we get there. We just want to get there. Uh, so if there are other numbers that will work well, uh, we would love to have your partnership uh, with us to reach our goal of raising that money. Uh, and then uh, finally, we, we also have set a goal for tonight of raising $5,000 in one-time gifts that we're calling uh, Corona Cash. Uh, I apologize for the name. They made me say that. Uh, but basically a jump start uh, to get us uh, on the way to raising this money uh, so we are looking for $5,000 in one-time gifts, uh, whether that be on top of your new monthly giving or your current monthly giving, uh, we, would, uh, we would love to reach that goal. Uh, and if we can reach that Corona Cash goal and our new monthly giving goal, uh, we would raise that $30,000, which would enable us to keep two people on staff here in Fauquier County. Uh, we've got a lot of great momentum uh, with our with our team right now, and we would really love to keep that up. So uh, we appreciate your partnership with us. Uh, in just a few minutes, we're gonna uh, put a link into the chat for how you can uh, that will take you to set up giving uh, or to update your giving if that's something that you need to do. Um, so be on the lookout for that in the link, and then uh, after that, we will uh, take a few minutes uh, and. Uh, just allow you to 
Um, get your giving set up, reflect on the evening. Uh, once that's completed, we are going to play a round of trivia. Uh, so stick around. We're going to split up into teams and do some trivia in honor of what was supposed to be our in-person trivia night. Uh, so, so we'll have that for you. Uh, but here's that slide one more time, again, for our goal of raising $30,000. Uh, and we appreciate your partnership with us, and we look forward to connecting with you. So visit the link in the chat and stick around for trivia in a few moments. Thank you.